Rabbits are really intelligent pets, and they can be trained to perform cool tricks just like a dog. Rabbits are usually very treated motivated and will do just about anything to get that yummy piece of banana. Training is a really fun way to spend time with your little furry friend and bond with them. Every rabbit has their own quirks and personality. Feel free to change and adjust any of these training steps so that they work for you and your rabbit. Most people don't think of rabbits when it comes to training because they don't think it's possible. However, if you understand how animals learn, you can train any species to do lots of fun and useful behaviors. You can even litter box train a rabbit which makes cleaning up after them much easier. Training your rabbit will also keep his body active, sharpen his ability to comprehend and follow tasks, and strengthen the loving bond between both of you. Rabbits are social animals that love to please their owners. With a little patience, they can be trained to run agility courses, fetch, jump, and spin on cue. Rabbits are fun and good pets for beginning pet owners, but training them to perform tasks like using a litter pan, hopping onto a scale, sitting still for nail trimmings, and jumping into their carrier makes them even easier to care for. The key to training a rabbit involves understanding what motivates your rabbit and how to mark his behavior so he knows he did something right. Rabbit Reinforcers Reinforcers are what trainers use to teach an animal they've done something correctly. For example, in dog training, a reinforcer would be a dog treat, a toss of a tennis ball, or some tugging play on a toy. With rabbits, your best reinforcer will be food and ideally, you should use food that's special and not normally on his daily menu like pellets. Some ideas are apples, bananas, bell peppers, blueberries, broccoli stems, bristle sprouts, carrots, celery, cherries, mango, melon, pear, pineapple, raspberries, squash, strawberries, dried fruits also work but feed in very small amounts. Rabbits also enjoy leafy greens like basil, broccoli leaves, cilantro, kale, and more but these may be harder to chop up and handle as easily as harder fruits and vegetables. As you'll read in reinforcer tips below, timing is important to work with treats that you can grab and hand to your bunny quickly. Reinforcer tips. When training any animal, it's important to keep your reinforcers small because timing is important when pairing the reward with the behavior. For example, if you're teaching the rabbit to high five and you give him a big slice of apple, he'll spend several seconds chewing it and this increases the time between the behavior and the reward. If you give him a bite-sized piece of apple he'll chew it quickly within a second or two of the behavior which makes the reinforcement for the activity much clearer to the animals. Occasionally you can give jackpots when you've been teaching behavior, and the animal is clearly getting it. A jackpot means a larger, more desirable reward to clue the animal in that he's doing really well. You don't want to give a jackpot every time but spread them out over time as behavior gets stronger. Another reason to keep rewards small is that you want to avoid stomach upset. Giving your rabbit large amounts of fruits and veggies during frequent training sessions may lead to diarrhea so keep your treat small. If you need a guide for how big to cut up your fruits and veggies, a good rule of thumb to go by is to cut up your treats to be about the size of the nail on your pinky finger. Before starting any training regimen, test out the treats you will use in your rabbit's diet beforehand for at least two weeks to make sure they don't produce diarrhea. Marking the bunny's behavior. Popularly known as clicker training, using a marker is a way that professional animal trainers let an animal know they've done something right. A clicker works great with bunnies but you can also use a verbal marker which is a short word like yes or okay. For any behavior, you will use your marker signal this way, timing is very important so if you're using a clicker, have it ready in your hand and your treats in the other hand. When the rabbit performs the behavior, immediately click and give them the treat. If you're using a verbal signal, say it in a happy, excited tone of voice and give them the treat. Eventually, as the rabbit is doing the behavior about 80% of the time when asked, you can fade out using the marker and start to give treats randomly, but also add in jackpots. In some cases you may need to break the behavior down into tiny increments, so you'll be clicking slash marking small movements toward the behavior rather than the full behavior itself. This is known as shaping. Fun tricks to teach your rabbit. There are many tricks you can teach your rabbit and once your rabbit understands the marker, you can be as creative as you like. Always work at your rabbit's level. Shire rabbits may take longer to learn a trick so keep your training sessions short and positive and be patient. Your bunny's name. A great first trick to teach your rabbit is to recognize his name. This is helpful for teaching future tricks since it's a way to get his attention. It's best to do this in an area where you're sitting on the floor and your rabbit can move around freely, such as a room with a closed door or a playpen. Sitting with your rabbit on a large raised surface like a table can work as well. Place the bunny on the surface or floor and pull out a treat so your rabbit is aware of it. 
When the rabbit comes to you, say their name and then hand them the treat. Either wait for the rabbit to move his attention away from you or move him a bit away from you yourself. Repeat the process. Do this several times a day for short increments of time, such as 5 minutes. Begin to say their name before producing the treat. If the rabbit comes hurrying over when you say their name, mark them as they get to you and give them a treat. Coming when called. Teaching a bunny to come when called is the next step after teaching them their name. It's a useful command for getting your bunny to come to you particularly if you're outside in your yard with him and need him to get to you quickly. Put your bunny down on the floor or table and move a small distance of a few feet away from him. Call his name and hold a treat out in front of you where he can see it. You should be squatting down or sitting on the floor while doing this. When he starts to move toward you, mark the behavior and toss him a treat. Repeat as he comes closer to you. Repeat this process several times in small increments of time, no more than 5 minutes or so at a time. Once your bunny is consistently coming to you after a few sessions, add in your word, i.e. come. When you call your bunny's name, use the word you've chosen as he is moving toward you and while you are marking the behavior. In other words, you want him to associate come with moving toward you rather than you saying it when he's not moving. Eventually, once he's reliably coming to you, you can begin to phase out using the marker and vary out the rewards. So he may get a treat the first time he comes, no treat but brushing the second time he goes, a big jackpot reward the third time he comes, etc. Work on increasing the distance between you and the bunny. You may notice the behavior breaking down when you do this so go slowly and at your bunny's pace until he's able to come to you from the other side of a room. Rolling over. Teaching a rabbit to roll over can be really adorable, but you may not find this as easy to do if the rabbit is shy since this will involve some handling on your part. Start by holding a treat in front of the rabbit's nose so he can sniff it but not get it. Pull the treat under his nose and back around so that his nose is following the treat while turning his head back. Your goal is to get him to turn his head all the way around so that eventually it becomes more comfortable for him to roll onto his back to keep the treat in front of his nose. Some rabbits will also do this behavior naturally so carry your clicker around with you and some treats and mark the behavior with a click slash treat whenever you see your rabbit doing it. An animal will tend to offer behaviors if it is being reinforced more often. Once you can get your rabbit comfortable doing this, you can add in the word or a hand signal to associate with the behavior, such as rollover. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.